That seems up. Wow. That's sensitive, Jones. Um, I, it's about five minutes after. Uh, we're starting a little bit early this evening, so I appreciate your patience. It is singing night, so there's a lot of scrambling at the, at the last minute, trying to get people and songs and things put in sometimes. So uh, we're going to get started here in just a few minutes. We appreciate you being here. Uh, the young guys, Nathan's going to have them ready to go here in just a minute. And then after they get done, everybody else will go. And don't forget, we've got a potluck after this, so I hope you brought your appetite. How about that? Nathan, whenever you're ready. My name is Sam Morgan, and I'll be singing Your Beautiful Life, verse 1 and 4. Each day I'll do a golden deed by helping those who are in need. My life on earth is but a span, and so I'll do. The best I can Life's evening sun Is sinking low A few more days And I must go to meet the deeds That I have done Where there will be No sadness sun while going down life's weary road I'll try to live some traveler's road I'll try to turn the night to day make flowers bloom This evening sun is sinking low, a few more days, and I must go to meet the deed that I have done, where there will be no setting sun. Else and I'll be doing break my heart. Break my heart, dear Lord. Tear the barriers down. Show me in convicting tears the glories of your. Trent Jackson, and I'll be singing The Battle Belongs to the Lord. In heavenly armor we'll enter the land. The battle belongs to the Lord. The weapon that's fashioned against us will stand. The battle belongs to the Lord. And 
and we sing glory, honor, power, and strength to the Lord. We sing glory, honor, power, and strength to the Lord. Blue skies and rainbows and sunbeams from heaven or what I can see when my Lord is living in me. My name is Walker Jones, and I'll be singing Faithful Love. Faithful love falling down from the thorn-covered crown Makes me whole, saves my soul Washes whiter than snow Faithful love calms each fear Reaches down, dries each tear, holds my hand, and I can stand on my own. Faithful love from above came to earth to show the Father's love. And I'll never be the same For I've seen faithful love face to face And Jesus is his name Faithful love it is a friend when whole seems to win, welcome faith, sweetest grace, faithless love to with grace, faithful love, endless power, living flames, fear is far, run and tide in the night, guiding my way. Faithful love. 
from above came to earth to show the Father's love. And I'll never be the same for I've seen faithful love face to face and Jesus is his name. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for everything that you've given us. Thank Please be with the people in the hospital, the people that are sick. Thank you for the food that you provide us, and thank you for your son dying on the cross. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I love it when they lead singing because it's it's always refreshing to see them start at such a young age and uh, it's it's a challenge to get everybody's songs in at the right time in the right place because of the way it all works. So I uh, appreciate your patience with all that. Um, as the young ones are dismissed to class, we're going to begin the rest of our worship service this evening and then uh, Dan Jones is going to have our prayer and then Matt will lead us in singing wherever he is. go to our Father in prayer. Holy Father, as we pray before you, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Forgive any sins we might have. We're so thankful that we've been able to draw close to you this day, the first day of the week, with our brothers and sisters, and pray that it has been with proper love for one another, and especially our love for you and the Godhead, and all the things you've done to give us salvation and revealing it to us and continually revealing it as we read your word and you open our hearts to how we can change our lives and be more faithful, better people, more righteous in our works and, and just help us Heavenly Father for we're so weak and we get distracted, distracted so easily and uh, especially with the weeks coming up where we're away from our brothers and sisters and the encouragement that we get. So walk with us, Heavenly Father, and help us live in a way that you would do that. We're so thankful that the youth have come back from their trip safely. We are so thankful for the care you give us. We thank you that you have started healing those that have lost loved ones and healing the hearts of those that are sad. And you always do, but it takes time. Help us turn to you for that, for that solace that you give us. And Heavenly Father, be with us in our devotional tonight and accept our songs of praise, our prayers, and may we be a blessing one to another and may we open our hearts to your word in song and in word. Be with us, Almighty God. Amen. Sing far and near, sing the all three verses of it. Far and near the fields are teeming with the waves of
heavenly armor will enter the land. The battle belongs to the Lord. No weapon that's fashioned against us will stand. The battle belongs to the Lord. And we sing glory, honor, power, and strength to the Lord. We sing glory, honor, power, and strength to the Lord. When the power of darkness comes, belongs to the Lord. He's raised up a... The battle belongs to the Lord, and strength to the Lord, we sing glory, honor, power. When your enemy presses and hard, do not fear, the battle belongs to the Lord, your redemption is near, and we sing be true, page 736. We'll sing all three verses. If you care to stand, if you can. To Christ be loyal and be true, his banner be unfurled, and borne aloft till is secured the conquest of the Be loyal and be true. He needs brave volunteers. 
seated. There's a land that is fairer than day, and by faith we can see it afar, for the Father reigns over the way to prepare us a dwelling place there in the sweet by and by we shall meet. invitation thought, go ahead and turn your Bibles over to Acts 28. Acts 28. My sons came home and said, I am really glad you're not preaching because I'm exhausted and tired. And so I'm not going to preach very long because I know everybody's exhausted and tired. We read in our Bibles about the importance of what other people think about us. Jesus tells us that we are the light of the world, and a city that's set upon a hill cannot be hidden. He tells us to let our light so shine that men may see our good works and glorify our Father who is in heaven. Paul, two different times in the uh, end of 1 Corinthians and also in the end of Romans, Romans 14, reminds us not to be a stumbling block towards other people. That is, don't let our liberty cause other people to fall. But what I want us to talk about tonight is how each one of us needs to be true to ourselves. Sometimes we're so stressed out about what other people think about us. Sometimes we're so stressed out about what other people are saying about us that it causes us to have a lot of difficulty. And so look at what Paul goes through. If you'll go with me, look in chapter 27. This is where Paul's headed to Jerusalem, excuse me, Rome on his third missionary journey. And Paul is a prisoner upon this ship as he's going along. And in 27, verse 10, he tells everybody before they go in the village or before they go on the voyage, he says, men, I perceive that this is going to be a disaster. We had better not take this direction. We had better not take this trip. We need to wait until the season passes. And nobody listens to him. 
And you know how it goes. They go through, and of course, they have the shipwreck. And of course, many times, Paul gives them instruction about what to do, about holding the ship together, about when to abandon ship, about everything else that goes along with it. Nobody really listens to him, but the centurion thinks, well, God must be with him. And so at least one person's impressed with Paul, but hardly anybody else is. And so we get to chapter 28, and now they have landed on the island of Malta. And they are there with a lot of the natives, and the natives, of course, follow all these other gods and everything else. And they're watching as Paul and the other survivors are huddled around a fire. And as they built this fire, Paul is working on trying to get together the uh, wood. And if you'll notice, in verse 3, the 28, when Paul gathers a bundle of sticks, he lays them on the fire, a viper comes out because of the heat and fastens onto his hand. So in verse 4, suddenly the natives see this creature hanging from the head, from the hand, and they say to one another, well, this guy, obviously, he's a murderer who has, though he escaped the sea, justice still was able to catch him. And so here are these men who have never seen Paul, but they see why he got exactly what he deserved because we see how this guy is. Gets out of one problem, goes right into the other. But then we see the next verse where Paul just shakes the thing off, and they continue watching Paul, and they're waiting for him. I love this. Sounds like they're in middle school. They keep watching in verse 6, hoping or expecting that he's going to swell up and fall over dead. So they're sitting there watching and waiting, and nothing ever happens. And so then what do they decide? Well, this Paul guy, he must be a god. And so they begin acting like they're about to worship him. And you can imagine what Paul's thinking through this entire episode. Here he goes along, and nobody listens to him. So they go on this voyage, and of course, while nobody dies, great trouble comes. Here are these villagers who say, well, hey, he deserves everything he gets because of what he's done. We don't really know what he's done, but we're sure he deserves it. Later they say, well, he got through it. Why? He must have something else going on or whatever else it may be. Do you ever feel like Paul? Do you ever go through life and you're afraid that somebody's saying something about you or somebody's thinking about you? Or do you spend a lot of your life worried about reputation and worried about everything else? Guess what Paul did? He was true to God, and he knew that everything else would take care of itself. And as you continue reading, you see that people began being converted to God because of Paul's example. Paul didn't spend a lot of time arguing with the centurion. He didn't spend a lot of time arguing and going through and teaching these natives necessarily. He was true to God, and as long as he was true to God, God took care of him. That's the thought process I want each one of us to have as we go through this week. As we go out into the world to be Christian lights of this world, recognize that there is really one person you need to impress, and that is God. Now, you need to have a good family life, but you do it because of your relationship with God. You need to do well in school, but you do it because of your relationship with God. You need to be a good employee at work, but you do it because of your relationship with God. No matter what struggle it is that you face in life, no matter what it is that's going in the, the storm all around us, be true to the Lord, and he will take care of you. This evening, the invitation applies to you. If you need to obey the gospel, if you need a prayer to the saints, we invite you to come forward as we stand and as we sing.
the Lord's Supper has been prepared for those who haven't had an opportunity. It's going to be served in the library. And so if you'll go ahead and dismiss to the library to take that while we're singing the next song. There it is. Je uh, Jesus is Lord. <clears throat> then we'll do that. After we sing the song, uh, closing prayer. I'm not sure who has closing prayer. Jeff? And then we'll have a closing song and then we'll be dismissed. As we uh, pray, we'll also offer thanks for the food that uh, we'll have in the, in the fellowship room after services. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we are truly thankful for the time that we come together as your family. Wherever we are, Father, we know that uh, we will be your church, Father, and, and we're so thankful for the church that you set up. Father, we're thankful for your son and what he means in our life we know father that he is the hope in our life and we're so thankful and so grateful that you gave him to us and he was willing to die for us and father help us this week to go about as paul did father to be only true to you father and, and we know everything else will take care of itself father we're thankful for uh the safe trip that the youth went on, and we're so thankful for all the many blessings that they will receive from that. We're thankful for uh, Nathan as he organized this, and, and we pray that you continue to be with him and bless him and his family. Father, at this time, we ask uh, to, to bless the food as, as, as soon as we'll, we'll have a meal together. We're so thankful for those that uh, got that together, and, and Father, we ask that you be with us and bless us in that meal. Uh, Father, go with us this week. Help us to be your light and forgive us when we fail. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. If it's convenient, let's stand while we sing this closing song. Again, after we sing the song, we'll be dismissed and then food will be ready in the back, so we'll just make our way back that way. Thank you, Lord, for the